Okay, so what we need to do is make a slip knot before we cast on. And then we get our double pointed needle. And we cast on four. So this is already one, two, three, four. Can okay, you turn the work over so your working yarn is closest to the end? Okay, and you knit one round. flip it over and then we knit in the front and the back of each stitch so we knit in the front and then we pull it and then we put our needle on the back and then we grab the yarn just like that Okay, let's do that again with our second stitch. It's just like a regular knit. Instead of pulling it off, we just put our right needle on the back, and then we go through the back of the needle. Or the back of the yarn, sorry. Bring the yarn around. Okay. Okay, so I guess now we're supposed to have four stitches on both needles, so, so let's just take off four. One, two, three, oops, sorry, four. Okay, so now our working yarn is in the back, so this is our first stitch, and we are just going to knit in the round. So for A, we just knit the row. Working yarns in the back. Now we turn it over. So our working yarns in the back. That's one full row. Okay, now for B, we are going to knit one. And then we make one. So what I do is you just get you grab the, uh, let's see, it's kind of like a bar in between both stitches. Oh, sorry. So I just find the bar in between both of the stitches and I grab it and I put on my left needle and then I knit it. And it's going to be pretty tight.
So we knit until our last stitch. And then we make one. Knit the last stitch and then you repeat on the other side. Okay, for the next three rounds, all you do is knit. Okay, put the last seven stitches on a stitch holder. And then the first seven stitches on the second holder. Okay, so now that we put those on our stitch marker, we just knit one round. Okay, now what we do is we slip, slip, and then we knit. Okay, and now we knit three. And then we knit two together. Okay. And repeat this on this side. Okay, now we slip, slip, knit. And then we knit one, and then we knit two together, and then we do this on the back side. Okay, so now we have three stitches left. Now we have to do the Kitchener stitch. It's not as hard as you might think. Okay, so we go through the first stitch as if you were purling and then we go through the back stitch first stitch as if you were going to knit okay now what we do is we knit slip it off and then we purl but we don't slip it off And then the back one, we pretend that we're purling, slip, and then we knit. Okay, do it again, knit, slip, purl. And 
curl slip. And knit. And then knit, slip, purl, slip. And that's it. And then you weave your ends. This is how you add the yarn for the second side. So we first knit and then we get our yarn, the loop, put it around. And then I'm going to knit just a few more stitches with the tail just so that it won't move around and get loose or fall out. Okay, and then you just repeat um, what you did on the right side. 